Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm here with my brother Daniel and my wife Mary. Not normally on the channel. Woo! This is this is a special occasion as Mary joins us to specifically talk about her top ten board games of all time. Because Mary is such a big board gamer. Such a board gamer. That's true. Yeah, yeah, this why is actually. I, I think this is an interesting Ryan, why list. Isn't, why isn't Mary the one that's co-hosting? It's true. With yeah, like I'm She's only on board games it. because of her. Yes. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, I think it'll be good. It gives a little bit of a different perspective. Mary's not nearly as big on board gaming as we are, or at least to the depths that we are. Um, yes. We'll let her her list speak for itself. Uh, we have to thank Mary for uh, providing the uh, studio for Rolls in the Family because uh, this really? room that I film in is actually part of her art studio for her uh art business and she has her own youtube channel and stuff you can what? actually maybe maybe we'll even link it in the description what? there's well, a whole you know what? Let's link in the description. mary's got a whole playlist <laughs> of actually the building of this home studio yes, art studio. so you can actually get the behind the scenes of yeah. this, this room space. that i'm sitting do you, in do you pay rent do you <laughs> i don't know that <laughs> yeah. yeah wait a second we, should start we have that. a very good agreement <laughs> Wow. Yes. In Ryan fact, Mary, Mary also pa you. painted. It's hard I to did. point at things and <laughs> this painted our logo so that yes. I can, you know, I don't have a cool game shelf in the background like Daniel. But so I'm okay. all I'm saying is Mary has contributed more to this channel than people realize. Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but let's uh, get to the topic at hand. We uh, will include links to all the games we talk about uh, in the description below if you want to check them out. If Mary just convinces you that these yeah. are the games this for is, you. This is on you, Mary, if whether we make oh, yeah. money off this video. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Your guys' favorite games on my list. <laughs> yes, here yeah, we, well, we go. We need you to persuade them. Otherwise, you're never coming back on. Yeah, never going back. Yes. <laughs> Daniel and I will have a, a meeting after to discuss oh, okay brief uh let's hop into it though mary with your number 10 game of all time oh man you say all time That's all time <laughs> yeah. this is the definitive all right just 20 okay. just 2020 all time just, of right now or of 2024 man yeah what year are we in wow. okay i have no idea um number 10 is code names Code names. names. Specifically code, it, names. code names. Code Not, names. She just yeah. straight just to, she just names. shot straight yeah. at it. She's just like number ten, boom, code names. Yeah. Hit it. Cool. <laughs> and I don't know. This is one that's like surprisingly I I like it's you know, it's simple but it's challenging, obviously. You have to think of those clues if you're the clue giver or whatever they call it. In the yeah, game. do you like yeah. being the clue giver, Mary? I do. I mean you we play code names duet mm -hmm. a lot, which didn't make the top ten, but um, That's what that was gonna be my follow up question. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you do like Codenames more than Codenames just because of the group dynamic? Yeah, I think the group. You it's know, just not being enough able to, to just talk be playing with, with somebody me. else and, you know, communicate. True. Bounce ideas off of, like, that part is missing, obviously, in Codenames Duet. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. just sitting there by yourself. It's like, a little, yeah, Codenames Duet's a little bit more cerebral <laughs> experience as you just, like, it really is. are it's, on your own hard. to help with this other person. Um, but yeah, I think that's, I, it doesn't get to the table very often, I think, because it's a little bit more of an an oldie at least in our set of some of these types mm -hmm. of party games i guess would you say i don't know it just yeah. doesn't come out we don't suggest it as often but people like it and it's one that a lot of people know about right like a lot of people are, oh yeah. yeah code names like they when i remember the last it. time we played it, it we were kind of pulling that out saying like oh we haven't played code names in a while let's try it and i remember we came away from it being like Code names is still really yeah, fun. Yeah, that's exactly what I was um, remembering. And about I know we've it talked too. about. I know da what Daniel's going to say. His biggest complaint about code names is like the downtime in code names yeah. when the uh, you know people are thinking of clues. Yeah. And while I agree with that, I think if you have the right group, like the last time we played, people were just talking and hanging out. So even if there was a little bit of yeah. downtime, it didn't feel like we're just sitting here because it was like the game mm. isn't the only thing that's happening. It's like game and socialization. Um, so it actually worked really, really well. And yeah. I agree. I love the the tension of, you know, the words start getting yeah. blocked off and yeah. it constrains down. Right. Yeah, Ryan, I, I like how I like how you state my point for me and then proceed yeah. to refute it. So that's just, <laughs> yeah, that's just, <laughs> just you know, Daniel's gonna say this. <laughs> Terrible point. Let, let me just uh, read Terrible. it. <laughs> no, I generally agree with that. Um, but I did find that in that last play it wasn't uh as, yeah, as much yeah. of an issue as I thought. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I think I've almost like gotten my own head about code names to where now it's more fun than I sometimes think about it, and it's I really if I just you know got to the table again, mm -hmm. um, I I'd enjoy it. But yeah, we actually played a Kaylee and I, my wife played a code names duet semi recently. Nice. Um, and so that was a good time. There's but. a lot more downtime in that. I feel like. <laughs> 
But is the thing is, it doesn't. Not, it's, it's it doesn't different. feel like downtime because you're also like if you're taking a long time to think, I'm probably over there also yeah. trying to come yeah, up with something. I, guess that's I swear, the last time I played Codenames Duet, my brain froze yeah, the hardest like list, it ever. I apologize like six times up. over like fifteen uh. minutes. I'm like, Mary, I cannot think of anything <laughs> to connect these. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. We lost. That's okay. All that's right. Very nice. I'm, yeah, it's it's a good yeah. one. I, I still like Codenames. So, number nine. Number nine. Number nine is just one. Mm, Another party game. Kind of similar. Mary's here for the party. (laughs) Mary is here for the party. (laughs) And we've played this one, I'd say, a lot with, especially your side of the family. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's just. It's an easy one to get to the table. Easy one to teach. You can, what is it, seven players? Eight players? It's seven, though. We always say, like, you can go to eight. (laughs) I play the giver. Oh, yeah, yeah, I played right, an eight-player game just the other day because yeah. it's so easy yeah. to... That was a missed opportunity by the uh, publishers of that game to realize we literally don't have to do anything but say this can be played with eight and then it is an eight-player yeah. game. That is, yeah, that's right. right. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How long have we had a... How long have we had Because uh, you got just one first, Ryan. Um, yeah, and I probably got I it when it was that. new. It was like I got it right away when it uh, came out. Um. I right, so whatever year it came out, yeah, was, uh, 2019 or something. Yeah, and I'd be interested, in Mary, because I feel like one of the reasons it goes over so well is, uh, it kind of. I mean, the, obviously the cooperative element, and it kind of just it almost has kind of the fun social uh, thing of you're coming up with it, but then the reveal and like who do you yeah, cancel yeah. with and stuff like mm-hmm. that. I find that's well, and what I found just now thinking about it, it's like. Just one has that element of like you're trying to figure out what other people are going to put down as their word mm-hmm. so that you don't put that. <laughs> you know, you're trying to mm-hmm. think outside the box. And actually, a lot of my games on my list, top 10, are like like that. Like they have that Jeez. creative. Get like, the artist to, think, to play to, like, board what games. What are they doing? Mm-hmm. What what should I do? Like how do, how's that going to affect what I decide to do for my play or whatever? Yeah. You know? So I think I yeah. like that side of that game yeah <laughs> but then sometimes you overthink it and yes then nobody picks the obvious clue uh-huh, that, uh-huh, yeah and it's uh, very yeah. funny when you you. Yeah. you do something that you think is a little bit out there and then you still cancel with somebody oh, that, that was this last yeah. and it's a funny me. moment and, oh man yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it's a great mm-hmm. one i mean we've had so many instances where we have like a bigger social group that is like I don't know what people here like. Like, I don't know mm-hmm. if people here yeah. are going to like really not be into games. And this is often the first one I'll reach for because it's like, this almost can't go wrong. Like, yeah. It's cooperative. Yeah. It's so mm-hmm. easy. But yet, mm-hmm. like, it really does create a good, like, social dynamic. So, yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Nice, nice. Number eight. Number eight. Are we ready? Here I'm we go. ready. Oh, number eight, Mary. What do, tell what us do about, we got tell us here? About your number eight. Tell us about it's your number eight. So clover. So clover. Mary. Also same. feels like it's the same. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> same the same vein of games here. Wow, Mary. Same We're publisher, learning a lot of same one. Same publisher, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so clover can be hard though. Like I feel like yeah. hard. I mean, I guess it's kind of like um, is it kind of like code names in that way where you you're having to think of connected clues yeah, that, that and beginning that can be is. very challenging especially if you get a weird grouping of stuff uh-huh. and you could there's kind of an out where you can sort of come up with something that would at least get you to one of the mm-hmm. sides yeah. you know but it's but funny because you don't get to tell the, everybody that you can't say that you know, yeah, you can't. <laughs> and so they're over there thinking <laughs> like, you came oh, up with a good clue like, this doesn't yeah. go with this and that and watching people like their brains think about how do, how should we place these on the board what does this go with this and it's just funny the things that do come up that weren't right mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like oh, with that with that added piece in there that the added extra card, card yeah you're like oh man that really messed with you yeah clues so yeah so yeah, that's a fun one so clover has been such a huge hit with I think our family, um, yeah, because we've had it for I think a couple years now, maybe, um, yeah. And it's funny that you you know you mentioned just one and so clover because you know I just had a, a get together where those were the two games I brought and people who hadn't really played uh, we hadn't really played games much together and the reason I actually went to just one was just that first part of so clover. So, can so, you know you just don't know are people gonna like that or is that gonna yeah, just be awful right, make right. them feel dumb or... you have to really think <laughs> but it's like it's like once you get i mean i love that i love the whole connect yeah. thing. that's a fun challenge um but mm-hmm. it's like once you get past that then it's just an 
it's so fun. I mean, Ryan, I've said multiple times, it's so funny going through and trying to guess yeah. what people, you know, yeah, have on yeah. their clover. That's such a just, I find there's a lot of laughter in that game that maybe I didn't expect. Yeah, yeah it's really kind of skyrocketed for our family. Like, I feel like it's only gone up in what we think about it since we originally mm-hmm. got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I guess like the type of people that when they play code names never want to be the clue giver are the type of people that might be a little put off <laughs> right. by like right. just the beginning of this game. Right. But it's a lot less. It's like you just got to come well, with Well, and that's few. what I'm surprised with some of these games for myself is that I like being the clue giver. You do, yeah. And there's a few other games on the list coming up. You like the pressure, but like I kind of like around. that Spoilers, role, which is wow. Yeah, I was gonna leave, but now Mary hooked me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like. I don't know. I like that role. Yeah, so more that's, so than I thought I would. Yeah, yeah maybe I, I wouldn't have like ten years ago. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be more playing. Of, any. I wouldn't be playing at any of these games. <laughs> I've, I've heavily, <laughs> influ- heavily influenced. <laughs> wouldn't Mary. Wasting, I wouldn't Skippo, be wasting my here's, life. Here's you know, the graph of and... Mary playing board games over time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's weird. There's this weird correlation with meeting <laughs> Ryan. That is weird. Yeah, causation. Or well, there we go. That's uh, three party games to start off the list. Woo! Who, yeah. who knows? Like maybe we got maybe party. we got ten party yeah. games. Over under on ten party yeah. games on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments. I'm probably below. not taking the over. <laughs> Nine and a half. There you go. We'll set it there. Set the line. Yeah. Okay. Ready for number seven? I'm ready. Yeah. Mysterium. Mysterium. Ooh, Mysterium. Mysterium. Yes, you do like this game. And this is one of the games that you can be the clue giver or the ghost. Yeah. And I like that role. It's a lot, you know, it is still thinky. This is a very different, different. kind of thinking, though, because it's with words. much more it's yeah, pictures. art and subjective Which interpretation. Which I just love. I just love. I love. Mm-hmm. Um, so, is it only seven player? You can go maybe? up to seven players, yes. Yeah, so you could seven. have six players and then the ghost. Um, yeah, I just like, I like that variant on <laughs> using those cards, yeah. those creative art cards, because... That's, yeah, I just love, I don't know. I love the creative side of having to get people to think, trying to get people, that's what this one's about. Mysterium is trying to get people to think in a certain way, which is hard to do because the cards have so much you're going limited. on and mm-hmm. you're limited because you only have so many in your hand to pick from. But um, Yeah, and it's fun discussion amongst like the the non-ghost players because they can all work together to be like yeah. okay maybe she was referring to this oh but it also could be this this kind of would go with yeah. this person over here so right. it usually can kind of create some nice discussion yeah yep yeah i uh mary i don't know if you know this but i do not like mysterium i i do <laughs> know this but i can't remember why um, that is yeah <sighs> You know, it's interesting. Again, I feel like it's also be- sometimes, like I said, things get in your head and then you think you don't like a game as much. Like, I think mm-hmm. I can totally have a, a fine time playing Mysterium. But um, I think for me, I don't know. It was the like, I think I like being the clue giver. I think that's fun. Some For some reason with the like guessing part and it being cooperative, I kind of felt like it fell into a little bit of just like... I don't know. For some reason, I didn't latch on to like the figuring out what it. I don't know. At some point, I was just like other people were saying stuff, and I'm just like, I don't know. Okay, I'll just disengage. I just disengage, (laughs) and I just I just walk away, and I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't even. It's been a while since I've played it, but um, yeah. For some reason, that wasn't one that like I super latched on to, which is weird because I like the whole like art card, you know, games that have that and whatnot, but. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's one that I'm, on I'm not as high on Mysterium um, as you are, com- especially kind of compared to some of those other games. But I will say some of like the best games of Mysterium we've had have been really kind of high highs because it finishes with that, you know, final yeah. voting mm-hmm. where everybody's putting in and there's like this slow reveal. Um, so when it's been at its best, that's been like really a fun kind of escalation to the end of the game. Mm-hmm. But I will. I've also had games of Mysterium that fell a little flat or. It, it does. It yeah. is kind of group dependent. Like I think to Daniel's point, that the how entertaining that discussion is depends a lot on how everybody's kind of approaching. Yeah, and it, I'm I'm but. probably the killjoy in the group, so just yeah, don't play so just don't me. invite Daniel to your <laughs> and you'll have a great time. <laughs> yeah, that's why Mary likes it so much. You just yeah, no well, kidding. To your point, it's a 
the whole um, cooperative, like helping each other figure out what your cards could be pointing towards is interesting because if you're that last person to receive the card, you're like on the clock, right? Yeah. And so like, I, there's often this like, oh, I don't know what you got. I don't, I don't know. Everyone's got to vote. Everyone's got to do their thing. Yeah, it's like the own. last person's kind of on their own. <laughs> Yeah. Which is kind of funny because yeah. they get left in the dust a little bit. But that person's always a little, it's different every time usually. But mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's interesting. Nice. nice. Number six. Number six. Is one that uh, my family has really liked. We've played it a lot, a lot, a lot. And I, I don't get tired of it. It's simple. I, would you call it an abstract game? I don't know. You guys can tell me. I'm going <laughs> to say yes. I don't, know, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to say <laughs> yes. It's, it's a themeless abstract game. Abstract is kind of a loaded word abstract in board games. Means, okay. okay People think of like chess and... Okay. But, it wouldn't yes, fall. it's kind of themeless. <laughs> Do you know which one if, if I'm right, themeless. I guess I'm assuming I know which one you're it's talking about. It's <laughs> super mega lucky box. Themeless. Has Daniel even played this game? Have he you has, played? but not much. Okay. Is it, isn't it? it themeless? It has like yeah, no Yeah, it's just like theme. numbers. They like, the graphic design game. gives you kind of a, a feel of like, uh, what's the old, uh, oh, I'm completely spacing the like school, ro- schoolhouse rock. Schoolhouse rock. Yeah, it's got style. kind of like that uh, vibe yeah. Yeah. to it. I think I've played yeah. this one maybe once or twice or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's so simple. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's re- it's long. revealing a number card, mm-hmm. and then everybody gets to cross off one of those numbers on one of their little dry erase, almost like bingo cards. These little three yep. by three. Yep. And it's whenever like you finish bingo. a row, whenever yeah. you finish a row or column, you get. I love bingo. A bonus, <laughs> and so it's got that comboing, which you do love. I love the yes. That's yeah. actually a big one. Is the comboing? It's like you check off a row or a column, and you get this extra thing that you get to go do on this other thing. And when you get mm. like seven of those in a row, oh my gosh. Ah! Mary just across the table. <laughs> gonna explode. <laughs> and then you have to I say, this wait, 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 it's happening. No, I got more, I got more. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's, I don't know. It's really exciting. And my family has loved it. We've played it a little bit with your family, but um, definitely. Yeah, we've played a lot with your family. And it's one that when mm. you buy the base game, it only goes to six players. Oh, yeah. But there's no real limitation there other than components. So I bought a second copy. So now, I, and it all fits in one box. So I can go up to 12 players now with mm. it. Which yeah. is pretty nice to have that mm-hmm. type of game. It's kind of in the roll and write genre, but very much on the more accessible side. Yeah. Um, yeah. That you can play with just about anybody. Yeah. You know what would be interesting, Ryan, is uh, ranking the top games we have that have like the best comboing, uh, like what games yeah. we have that have the most satisfying, the like feeling. you do this and you get this and and like things that like keep chaining us. Put it in, put it on our list. Jot so it don't down. forget. Yep. Yeah, yep. it's a Good. fun make. It's a fun feeling when games yeah. have that. Oh, you yeah. know, it's it's <laughs> so satisfying. It really yeah. is. Yeah, it can be a lot to take in in like a heavier game though, because like if you can make those really long chains, suddenly your decisions require you to like. Well, if I did this, yeah. this would happen, which would make this happen, which would make this happen. The order at which you mm. have to yeah, do. and yeah. like comparing yeah. options. But in a game that's as light as a uh, Super Mega Lucky Box, mm-hmm. you pretty much can kind of. Yep. But there's some fun right. little strategic points in it of when do I use my lightning to mm-hmm. bump the number? Mm-hmm. When do I go after the stars? Because I want to try to get them in the same yep. round instead of yep. different rounds. Yeah, so. I love all that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, it's a good one. Okay, let's see. Number five. <laughs> I don't know. You might be surprised by this. I don't know. I'm ready. Um, we found First this shocker. at the thrift store. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's but it was not still, a lar- there's not which a, is a funny. not a large selection from the thrift store? There's not a lot. No, no. And it was in pretty good. I mean, it was ba- brand new, basically. Yeah. Opened, didn't have the, it didn't have the new. instructions. That's the best. But. Didn't have the instructions. Yeah. Um, Somebody oh. just bought the game, threw away the instructions. And that's <laughs> yeah. <good well>. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> or maybe they lost them, Like the cards, they, were, the cards like, were in shrink wrap. <laughs> Maybe they immediately lost the rule book and then they're like, yeah, well, I, no. I can't even learn how to play it. They don't it, have internet, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right, right. Um, and it's, we've only played it like, what, three, four times or something? But I just, it's love, already. okay. I wow. love it. It's called the Golden Ticket Game. <laughs> This yes. game wow. actually at the end of the name. because <laughs> It is the Willy Wonka It's the Willy themed. Wonka themed this is game. number five. Wow, number five. ahead of some heavy hitting oh party my, games ahead here. Of Mysterium. Oh my goodness, Mary! I knew wow. you liked it, but the, yeah, this is yeah. high. Man, comparing it to other what, stuff, I'm what like, is it this about is this game? Fun. 
Yeah, because it's got the whole. Like, yeah, so you've got the whole. You're one of the characters in Willy Wonka. You get to move around and take actions on this grid, and you're ultimately trying to collect chocolate bars, which it's very funny in this game because they literally it comes with like <laughs> sixty plastic chocolate bars that go into little sleeves little to look paper sleeves, paper yeah. sleeves, and you had to. Is that why you, you like buy, this game, Mary? Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, that's why. Yes. When you get the <laughs> well, game, it makes though, you, you eat have chocolate to... while you're playing it. You're like, oh, that's fun. <laughs> Warning: If you buy this game, you do have to assemble all those. It yes. took the two of us Which like a half hour to from, do from a thrift store. Still, it yeah. was we had to do all that. Dedication. But at the beginning of the game game you're going to take a number of the golden tickets based on the number of players and slide them into a few of the candy bars and then shuffle them all up we usually throw them all Mm -hmm. in the box and you're just trying to get as many chocolate bars throughout the whole game in different ways on the grid like you said because at the end of the game if you have a golden ticket in one of your chocolate bars you win and Mm -hmm. multiple people could win so literally the whole game is increase your odds of winning by (laughs) getting as many chocolate bars and you can force people to put some back that they have right or even take some from people i think um Mm. and you know so there's a little bit of that happening a little cutthroat yeah, and it's it's card driven you've got this hand of cards and cards have different yeah. actions that mm-hmm. you can do but they also have their candies different types of candies yeah and you're trying to like use scrum diddly umptious yes. bar yep but then at the yeah. very end when you're all having to open you know all the chocolate, gar- <laughs> chocolate bars are gone and you're all opening it's just go it's just like panic <gasps> and you hear somebody <laughs> across the table like, i got one <laughs> <laughs> it's you so know, funny we've you know, had a couple right. times we've played that one person has gotten like all three that yes. were in the game which is just a very funny yep. way for it to end right. super one. Oh man <laughs> so it's kind of like uh i mean it's kind of like you know first game ryan and i ever ever got killer bunnies it is. it's you know, honestly the, the, the closest... end of that is it's you know you you basically get these is it the, it's the carrots, carrots right you're collecting carrots but there's one winning one and so and the, and while from like you know maybe Ryan and I who prefer you know more games that don't ultimately just come down to a random draw at the end that's not maybe not our favorite style I will say that is a f- that can be a really fun mechanic and I think the it works well exciting. with the theme oh here. it's so like, perfect yeah. so perfect the for the theme and that's why and, yeah it works and we're like you know I remember in Killer Bunnies and maybe it's here too of like if you even just have one you have a chance. or something you've got a chance and there was that yeah. like and you we've seen it happen which is fun yeah and i think that makes this one work well as like kind of a welcoming game because everybody's going to get at least some chocolate bars you're going to have a chance of winning at the end but there's enough decisions in it with how you kind of move mm-hmm. around the grid to take actions mm-hmm. how you play these cards down and then when you play them you kind of collect the suits and then there's like sweep actions that you can sweep ones you play so you can mm-hmm. kind of set yourself up so there's enough there to feel for those that want to think a little more you can feel kind of clever now granted that person that felt so clever maybe ended up with six more bars than you know than the person that yeah so it's not like it's like a huge difference um right but yeah it's it's a it's like a very niche one it's one i wouldn't want to play like all the time but it, it is like just very Mary would. unique would. and exciting <laughs> yeah Mary's like, she's playing it solo right now yeah, yeah. She, she whoops it out so would you play it solo <laughs> would be i'm just, just opening you, bars i just hear room. mary and the, <laughs> the thrill Wow. Well, I would say that's if that's your number five game, that's one of our better. uh, I think we got it for like three bucks at the (laughs) thrift store. So that's pretty good. Three dollars. Transform Mary's life. How about that? So fun. And not one I would call a party game. Yeah. As far as, well, and like you yeah, said, that's a heavy the, one. Whole, <laughs> the whole strategy <laughs> part of it that, you know, I don't I don't like strategy games at all like heavy you, strategic you games. don't like heavy strategic games i like games. them as a little bit but it's like i need limited options i want to be able to choose mm-hmm. and like be strategic with those options i have but i don't want to I, I cannot have like endless options otherwise it overwhelms me and yeah. so like this is one of those games where it's like oh i i could maybe switch up my strategy a little bit to get more chocolate mm-hmm. bars but it's still within like only a few options you can take yeah. you know i don't know so that's helpful i think for the me. biggest surprise with this one that you liked it so much is this is one that has you get dealt cards that have text on like abilities that's usually like a yeah. no-go oh, yeah. for you it's like i can't read a bunch of cards with text <laughs> <laughs> I <can't read. laughs> no i can read i just i get it really <laughs> limits the games Mary yeah. can play. <laughs> a lot of things in life if i can't read yes <laughs> so i'm glad you li- like it though it's, it's kind yeah. of a fun one to have and it's a fun that's one fun. to pull out with people because it's so different, mm-hmm. like just the concept. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> okay, number four is uh, 
what can I say about this one? What can I say? It's got dice. It's your number four. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's what? You know, it's got dice. It's dice in dice. it. Dice. Mm. Um, dice. Um, I trying to think if i liked it right away or not or if it took a while to like kind of warm up to it but now i really like it and mm-hmm. it's uh that's pretty clever mm-hmm. or gone oh, clever. Or what's the, which uh, in what's, some yeah, ways ball, almost feels gong like gong gong like the advanced version <laughs> of super mega lucky box yeah like it's it got a lot is, of the same yep. dna yep yeah um, i get those two games mixed up in my mind but i just again i like the comboing of things mm-hmm. you do this and it add and it happens more in that game than super mega right or yeah, at least more, more exciting, exciting things yeah, yeah. um mm-hmm. so that's i don't know yeah There's and you like dice say. rolling like you like I, like yeah. y- yahtzee Who does or it? like grew up playing yahtzee that type of so game. yeah it's just i don't know it's thrilling to I think everyone likes dice rolling. I mean, come on. That's yeah, I feel like, like it, when the modern board game <laughs> hobby was like, you know, getting into the 2010s and stuff, like dice rolling kind of got a bad rap because it was like, we want these more skill-based games. But there's a lot that's just now, innately just fun, fun about yeah. rolling dice as like a randomizing yeah, element. Out of your control a little bit. Just go with the flow. And you I like get that. to roll them. It's just yeah. like compared yeah. to like a random card draw or some of the other ways you could randomize something. There's something about dice that just mm-hmm. shake it. In. Yeah, it's very. Well, and we recently got the kid version of this. Ah, uh, yes. Very recently. Oh, Is I it, didn't know that. Um, For our eldest son, who's only three and a half. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and I'm wow. like, you want to play super? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. You want to play? That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. And <laughs> he actually liked it the second time we played it. I think it's a little harder, maybe for him to understand. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's like really any game simple, we introduced really him. If you're ever introducing person. a game to a three year old, be prepared to play it like ten times before they like like, like it. it. Okay. Like you and just then have they play to every day. You have to work months. on it, and then, and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a good, a clever little yeah version of mm-hmm. kind of keeping some of that DNA, but. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a great one for us two player. Like, and it's small. Like, we'll throw this when we go on a trip mm-hmm, somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, it's a fun one to just. Well, and didn't you you laminated some of the? Yeah. So um, we usually laminate and use the wet with erase the stack of papers, and we just laminated some and use wet erase. Yeah. And we so. uh, technically have the twice as clever follow up, which we yes. don't play as often, right. but it is fun to occasionally mix up the it, it, get yeah. a different twist. Mm. They technically have at least two more. Oh man. Who that knows? might be too many. Maybe options. when we don't have young kids. <laughs> when or... we don't have little kids, yeah, that might help. There you go. <laughs> okay, number three. That was wasn't that number three? No, that was number four. That was number four. That was number four. Yeah, right. Okay. Come on, recalibrate my brain. Much. Yeah. <laughs> so number three. This whole time, yeah, I was, was thinking was it was number four. three. Number three, <laughs> I have. Would, I'm just gonna tell you, and then we can talk about Stella. Mm. Really, Dixit this Universe. Okay. Um, which we've played it a Ryan, few more times. What, what was your shock, Ryan? Was it you? <laughs> well, I thought it was higher. Um, I, I know that she doesn't like Stella as much as another game, mm-hmm. <laughs> which doesn't leave okay. a lot of room for that. Well, there you go. <laughs> but I think because I've always heard that she doesn't like it as much, I thought she didn't like it as much. I mean, to be your number three, it's still literally one of your favorite. Oh, games. okay. So you thought it was low. I you would have thought, thought it would be lower for you. Yeah. It's yeah, I've played it a few more times since I felt that way, I think, mm-hmm. and I think it helped. Um, but I, I, is this the one? I think this is the game that I, I get a little frustrated with the people I'm playing with. <laughs> it's like, come on, people, didn't you clearly see <laughs> that like, you should have put this gotta, card more wow, so, so than that's what some that of my look other was games that Mary gave yeah. me during that game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's a little. I'm trying to remember what it is. Because it's very much similar but... to the family of Dixit style games where yep. you've got these cards. The big difference in Stella is no one's giving a clue. You just have a word that comes up. Mm-hmm. And everybody mm-hmm. from the grid of the 15 cards Marking. out there, it's like, yeah. what are all the ones I think someone else is going to associate with this word? Mm-hmm. So you're trying yeah. to get common things with people. Right. And so you want to do a lot of them because you'll more opportunity for points because whenever you match you get points Mm -hmm. but if you do the most then you're kind of in this like shoot the the moon mode they call it in the dark where unless you get them all right you're going to get like half points yeah so there's a little bit of this like how many do i put down right and i i don't i can't remember now what the specific frustration i had (laughs) with the people i was (laughs) playing i don't know if it's like come on guys don't you see the like but i can't think of an Mm -hmm. example like we had one that was really kind of general that was really dumb. 
some words. I mean, like, yeah. with these Dixit style cards, it Magical is so common like... <laughs> to like look at one and completely miss something in it. And yeah. later you look mm. at it and you're like, oh, there was a thing like, that a like directly thing. ties yeah, it might to be something See, like my, that. My, my strategy in this game is literally just I give it a one second first impression. Just <laughs> yeah. See, that's why yes I was frustrated. No. Mark. Yeah. Yep. It was and, you, Daniel. And, was I, you. and I lean on the aggressive side. I always do first impression yeah. on the aggressive yeah, side. You gotta so know your... my, de- my default is market. And then unless <laughs> he actually there's marks them all first me, and then just mark, erases. Yeah, I first mark everything on my grid. <laughs> you can only do see, 10 of them. Is there anything that convinces me it surely cannot be? <laughs> yes. Yeah, good strategy. <laughs> I don't know that Diego wins this game very often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stella's been kind of a big surprise because at first when it came out, it was like, you know, we have Dixit, we have Mysterium, we have like, yeah. do we need another game that's in the same? But it has really found enough. a niche. Yeah. It doesn't mm-hmm. require people to come up with clues, mm-hmm. which can be which is why it's number huge. Three yeah, list. yeah. For you, it's maybe a downside, but for a lot of people, <laughs> that gets them to play it where they otherwise yeah. wouldn't have. I mm-hmm. mean, um, it's just got yep. some fun things with the trying to get like other people and how many do I do, but then also the order that I mm-hmm. guess them, mm-hmm. because yeah. if you ever get one wrong, you're knocked out of the round. Um, and sparking with sparking someone is, is yeah. super fun. A super that spark is so or super exciting. Spark, yeah. 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 Or super spark. Yeah. Can you like give each other a high yeah. five? Yeah. And, yeah. That's a, that's so I think a fun we would all that say game. that if you're watching this and you, uh, your gaming group has enjoyed Dixit in the past and you haven't Stella considered Stella, I would definitely give it a shot. And all the cards are cross compatible. So you've effectively, expanded both games um yeah yeah so, well that's not i know ryan and i've ryan and i've thought each. about uh you know should we uh someday you know rank the all the games that are use those kind of cards yeah you know um mm-hmm. and stella would be very high for me um mm-hmm. i i love it um especially i think for me and i i like that it doesn't i personally like that it doesn't have the clue giving mm-hmm. side of it um, just cause I've had a few situations where people don't like that. I've and so more and a- more realized that I actually think I prefer, like me personally prefer Ryan. not having to give my own clues in those type of games and getting to focus yeah. just on the thinking like other people and find it, which I did, wouldn't have wow. like, you know, I've realized this about myself yeah. at playing so many of these different games. Yeah. That said, I do still enjoy, you know, classic yeah. Dixit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I think I'm confident on what one of your remaining ones is. I'm just trying to think of what the other is. Yeah. So number, two. number two. Oh, number two. Oh, Nyronauts. Oh, Nyronauts is this high too. Wow. So this is the list is. Okay. So then, this is another Dixit like <laughs> game. We yeah. actually don't have Onironauts. We, we don't have it. proxy this game by using our Dixit mm-hmm. cards and mm-hmm. using our code names Word Bank. Because all you need is word, you know, the words in the cards. Um, so it's wow. a little hard to like justify buying it yeah. and actually shrinking the card. Do you mark pool. it that you own this game? I don't your, say, uh... but I do log plays as an Ironauts because we're playing. Wow. Yeah. And this is the simplest of all the Dixit likes, I would say, because it's it's cooperative, which is the thing that makes it kind of mm-hmm. unique. Mm-hmm. And it's everybody puts in one for the word that was drawn, and then you put in one random one from the deck, and then everybody is voting which, which one, one do you think is, is the random the one. random one. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just it's a variant that I like. I've had some good. It's plays, shockingly good experiences fun, actually. With it, it's it very good. It's, it's a funny. Yeah, one. It, it it's funny because like when you first say it, it doesn't sound like that's okay. Is that when really I first heard about different? it, I was like, "Come on, guys, yeah. we can't just take yeah, Dixit like, and <laughs> change I one know, rule and publish a new game." <laughs> I know that's what it feels like. It's a totally different yeah, way of thinking really about is. the cards. Yeah, because yep. it's so different to think what's the one that's specifically matching a clue versus what's the one, the odd one out. Like that, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's different. when you're in the moment mm-hmm. thinking, mm-hmm. it feels so well, different. We've been, we've and been I really sabotaged like quite a few times by the deck. Cause yeah, it's like I a love... perfect card for the word. <laughs> and we're just like, yeah. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me when you realize which one. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that was literally better than any of our cards. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> So that's, that's painful when that happens, but <laughs> yeah, this uh, one is, yeah, I was so surprised and it's even more accessible. Like if I want to play this style mm-hmm. of game, we talked about just one, how like bringing yeah. out with a group you're really unsure about yeah. this is 
if I'm doing that and I want to play a more Dixit style game or Nironauts is the way I'm going to do it because it's cooperative. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. so simple to teach. Like you, you can teach this yeah, in like 15 all. seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And again, I, I didn't realize it was so high for you, but I guess I know you like these styles of games. So it, <laughs> it makes sense that these ones yeah. are going to rank high for yes. you. But there yes. you go. There yeah. You go. Yeah. yeah. Mary likes those discover. games with uh, with the images that with the mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. We've had three images. of them so far. Yep. So yeah. and probably, we might not be not done. Fourth, <laughs> surely, sure, surely there's not surely a fourth. Surely she coming. wouldn't that would put be a, that would, four of this game. Up. That would be absurd. Yeah, sure, that would not. be absurd. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Man. Yeah. Well, number one is obvious, I guess. Then, huh? <laughs> It's, it's I don't obvious know if to me. Know. It's Dixit. It's Dixit. The <laughs> OG. <laughs> the OG <laughs> is still the king. Wow, the in OG is on top. And, you know, I like the clue giving part. Like, I really do. Like, I think it's the creative side of my brain that I like that challenge. And I feel like you can, it's really flexible. I mean, I love the fact that you can come up with like one word. You could have a little phrase. You could choose a song. You could choose a, you know, a movie Mm -hmm. or a a quote or there's so many, I mean, it's endless. And I think that's why I really like it. And it's competitive. (laughs) Ah. (laughs) I want to try to beat everybody. There we go. Man. Peeling back the yeah. layers on Dang, we, we seem to have kind of competitive wives, I guess. Because we talked about <laughs> Kayla is not big on cooperative oh games. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny when you talk about the clue giving because it's like, if it goes well, like in my experience, if it goes well, it's like incredibly satisfying to mm-hmm. come up with that mm-hmm. just like really great clue. The problem I have with it is I've played with people then who give a clue and either everyone gets it, which feels horrible, or no mm-hmm. one gets it, which mm-hmm. feels horrible. So it's like winning, yeah. you know, you do get mm-hmm. that like sweet spot. It's amazing and awesome. And that, it, but it's just like, yeah, uh, I know. But there's like I, so many, and, in, there's so many things in play. You got different people with different like minds mm-hmm. and backgrounds and all this stuff. And then you have these cards that you're just going to have what you have in your hand, you know. And then yeah. obviously the clue is going to be from a specific person in their mind and stuff. And so it's like, you got so many things going on that it's like, I feel like yeah, it's I always hard try to, to take it. I feel like I've gotten better at teaching Dixit because I try to remind people. Just because you didn't get it, like you either everybody got it or nobody got it, it doesn't mean you had a bad clue. Like so much is dependent on what mm-hmm. cards people had to put in. Mm-hmm. Like if yeah. somebody had the perfect card, that might like really help you because it split the votes a little bit. Mm-hmm. And if they don't, that's yeah. not your fault. Um, right. So I try to kind of like really lead so that even if it happens, people yeah. are like not just beating themselves up about it. Like yeah. I'm the one stupid it person also, at the table that couldn't yeah. get them right. to yeah. Yeah. get it. Yeah, it also can vary depending on the number of players you're playing Mm -hmm. with, uh, how you give it. You know, I almost like record because it can go up to. If you have Dixit Odyssey, it can go to 12. And if you're right. So if you're like, if it's seven or higher, you get two, you can vote twice. Yeah. Right. And so if you're playing with, you know, 12 people, you can give a more obvious clue because it's. you know, you're having 12 cards out. Yeah. And true. so it's more likely that there's going to be a really good card that's going to pull someone away. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you're playing with like seven where you're voting twice, you probably want to be right? more Cause obscure because the chance you want to be more obscure because there's less cards. But everybody's getting more votes. That, yeah, that is but true. But everyone's getting that's more true. votes. So there's almost a little bit of varying yeah. of like the player count with right. it. Yeah. I think Dixit still more than any of the other Dixit variants makes you just really get psychological trying to get into somebody else's brain. Yeah. Because you're trying to get into this clue giver's brain of like, (laughs) it wasn't just, it wasn't just a word was given and they thought of this card. They looked at the card first Mm -hmm. and And came came up with this. this. And so you're looking at each of these being like, would somebody have come up? But then you know everybody else was trying to think of like one that fits the clue, but they had the clue first. It's, I I, I still, and I really do enjoy that piece of it. I I love that part. Mm -hmm. I love that part. And it is, it is actually like really skill based. Like we found like you can be better at dixit like if you can master that like yeah. really thinking uh, is that you mary? mary's pretty good at dixit i, I don't know I, I do have games where i'm like losing. okay mary is mary <laughs> either <laughs> wins <laughs> or she just I know, like I'm nowhere in the middle it's like i win or like 
I'm way at the yeah. back. Yeah. Like, she just throws it if she. I don't know she, why that is. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe she's the clues just hit her. Hit her. You know. No, I think it's Mary's. Yeah. Like, man, if I always crush them every time, they're not going to want to play <laughs> yeah, my I'm favorite trying. game anymore. Yeah, that's a good point. I yeah. better let some our wives are just secretly like going yeah. easy on us, so we keep like, playing. We do. We want them to, you know, have fun on their little YouTube channel. We should let let them get their top plays of the month. <laughs> They're not gonna have any top oh, plays if we just yeah. whoop them every time. Yeah, yeah. good point. Yes. That's true. We actually played Oniron Knots. Oh, sorry, I'm jumping back. I, my brain is just in all of these sorry, style it's games. It's a lot out. of this. It's the yeah, same game. I'm just over seeing and pictures over. We, we played Oniron Knots uh, two player cooperative, which actually like works. Oh, did we? That was actually the first way we played it. Oh, um, and obviously, there's okay. a lot fewer okay. cards, but you'd be amazed. Even with just like three cards yeah. out, sometimes the deck makes it really. Yeah. Hard. Yeah, my wife and I played Dicks at two player. Oh, it's great. So weird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, there you go. I there were yeah, a few little surprises my... on this. I mean, if there's anything that we know yeah. for sure, it's that uh, I'm an artist. Mary loves these games built around the uh, <laughs> ar- interpreting these art cards. As that was four of the that and combos. I need to design a game that art, combines art, combos, those. competitive, yeah. and competitive. Those three yes. things just yep. all together. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. And a, a war art game. War, yes. That has combos. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> Get yes. on it, Ryan. Come on. Cool. Well, thank you, Mary, for joining yes. us, spending for some time me. in the Rolls in the Everyone Family studio. That's Mary. actually the uh, Fragile Glory Impression studio. Clapping right now. And uh, we'd love to hear in the comments if you, uh, you know, liked any of the games. What, what do you, you think, think of Mary's list? list? Uh, no. What are your favorite games out there? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Do you have people down. in your life that maybe skew are closer to Mary's taste than uh, maybe Dangle or my taste? Um, as I mentioned, yeah. we have all the links below if you want to check the games out for yourself. Uh, but thanks for watching, and thank you, Mary, for joining us.